Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope everyone has had a great day so far. Today is Friday, so happy weekend. Fridays are always really great. I took time to straighten my hair, do my makeup, and just get cute and feel great for the weekend because, girl, these past few days, I have been looking and feeling a little rough, so I already knew what I had to do, and I did that, and here we are. Anyways, I decided to do like a weekend in my life because I feel like I don't really vlog on the weekends as much i feel like i just mainly vlog throughout the week unless there's like something special going on on the weekend but there hasn't been so i was like you know what let me just record this weekend of my life even though i have nothing planned whatsoever and every weekend is so different so i have no idea what's going to be happening this weekend it might be boring it might be fun i don't know we'll see but today's friday like i said and nico <laughs> As most of you guys know, I mentioned it in my last vlog very, very quick that Nico is no longer in preschool. I decided to withdraw him from preschool. So you're going to be hearing Nico in the background. Probably going to have a couple interruptions, but that is okay. But like I was saying, I decided to withdraw him from preschool because I just felt in my gut that he was not ready. I just wanted to see if it was something he was interested in. And it was just not going very well. He started to develop like anxiety and I just felt like he is just too little to be having those big feelings. And the fact that I'm able to be a stay-at-home mom and have that option to keep him home is great because I know a lot of moms out there don't have like that option and they have to keep their kids in daycare or have to keep their kids in daycare. So I'm blessed enough to have that option. So I just decided I'm not going to let him suffer and develop anxiety at such a young age Like for example, he would have very clammy hands. He didn't eat like he used to all he would think about was like school um, Every time we would dress him he would think oh my god My mom's taking me to school and every time we would get him ready for bed All he would think about is the next morning. He would be like mommy. I don't want to go to school That's all he would say throughout the day and I felt like he just wasn't his little self anymore And he just seemed so like worried and anxious about the next day instead of like having fun in the moment and playing and eating like he used to like it was really really sad to see um and experience and especially in the mornings his hands were super clammy his heart would race and as you guys saw in the last vlog if you watched it he would just cry the whole time that we were waiting in the car line and yeah it was just like really really hard and i just told myself like why am i gonna put him through that why am i gonna put myself through that if i have the option to stay home and keep him home you know i just wanted to introduce Back to him and see if that was something that he was interested in. Oh my gosh. <laughs> But that was not the case and that's okay because I am blessed enough to be at home with him So yeah, I just wanted to speak on that a little bit before continuing this vlog because I know in my last vlog I didn't really talk about it I kind of just like put it in text that we withdrew him from school So I wanted to speak a little bit about that. So anywho guys, I am currently drinking un cafecito and it is currently 1.45 and where to go? I think Nico took it. All right, hold on. Let me find it because I don't know where he put it. 12 seconds later. Okay, I found it. <laughs> So I got this sent to me from Drawry. And if you're unfamiliar with Drawry, Drawry is a jewelry manufacturer that offers unique, fashionable, and personalized pieces. They have a professional designer team that turn initials and names into amazing jewelry pieces. They offer a variety of range, including rings, necklaces, earrings, bracelets, and accessories. And I decided to go for a gold circle name necklace with all three of my boys' names on it. And it is so beautiful. So this is what it looks like. It's three rings and it has all three boys' names on it. And I love it so much. I absolutely love like personalized jewelry. So this is something that I'm going to be wearing a lot. I absolutely love necklaces. And now I have a necklace with all three boys' names on it. So that is what that looks like so cute and like i said you guys they have so many different options if you're not like a necklace person there's bracelets there's earrings and there's accessories you just have to check out the website for yourself which i will leave their website link down below and i will also leave this specific necklace linked down below as well and luckily right now they do have a hot summer sale going on so do not miss this so definitely check out jewelry and get your next personalized jewelry from them so thank you so much jewelry for sending me this super cute customized necklace with my boys names on it i absolutely love it and i will be for sure wearing it all the time and without further ado let's continue with our weekend vlog my lips are really chapped so if you guys see all this like dry skin 
my bad. But anyways, look at my new phone case. So beautiful, has little butterflies, some flower, and it says never give up. I'm obsessed with like phone cases. I'm always like changing it up. They're just so cute to me. Um, I've been getting them off of Shein. So if you want some cute, like very affordable phone cases, definitely check Shein out. And right now I am home alone. Oh my God, I need chapstick. I'm home alone because Eric just got off of work and he came to get Nico. So I was able to finish the first part of this video showing you guys the jewelry that was sent to me because girl, he was not letting me finish. I had to like re-record multiple times, but luckily Eric got here right on time. I was like, oh my gosh, I need your help. And he was like, okay, I'll just take him because he had to go somewhere. So I'm home alone now and it's currently 2.50 and I'm actually kind of hungry right now. So I am going to eat the salad that I got from Aldi, the chicken Caesar salad. So this is what the salads look like once you open it up. It has the chicken, cheese, and the dressing, and then obviously the salad. It comes with a fork. So I'm going to go ahead and dump all this in there. So this is going to be my lunch. I'm not sure if we're going to go out to eat today or what, but I got ready just in case. Cause I feel like almost every weekend, I'm never like ready to go on Fridays and Eric's always like, oh, you wanna go here, you wanna go there. And when I'm not ready for the day and he asks me if I wanna go somewhere, I'm always like, no, because I still have to do my hair, I still have to do my makeup, I still have to get dressed and then I have to get the boys ready and then I just like feel like super lazy. So <laughs> this time around, I was like, let me get ready just in case he wants to go out and about tonight. Mm. And you guys, Noel started baseball um, yesterday was his first baseball practice, which I wanted to record. But this past week was just like so crazy. Like I feel like there was just so much going on in my life. Oh my gosh. And I just felt like super overwhelmed um, this last week that I just kind of felt like a little unmotivated to pick up the camera. So anyway, so since he started baseball, I went to Dick's yesterday to buy him some cleats. But I totally forgot to get him a bat, to get him a helmet. So tomorrow he has practice at 10. So today we need to head back to Dick's and get Noel a helmet and a bat. But anyways, let me finish my salad and then I'll get back on here once we decide what we're going to do. So we made it to the mall. We're at... Well, you can't see it. It's Dick's, but it's, yeah, it's here at the mall. Say hi. Hi. Cool. Come on. Hi. Oh, they're right there. There you go. Oh, <laughs> that's too big. Yeah. Let's try this one. You like that one? A little bit. So we decided to go with this one. It's really nice. You like it? Yeah. Um, I think we're gonna go with this one. It's 26 inches. And you like it, Nico? <laughs> you wanna play baseball? I think it fits Nico better. <laughs> All right, so we found the bats and the helmet. And then we also got two baseballs. And what do you, of course? <laughs> I just tried this iced coffee. Oh my god, it's so delicious. Got some pizza, breadsticks. And the pizzas came with free ice cream. It's a big pizza. It's a big pizza. And then I got this coffee, it's so good, from a little coffee shop that's over there. It's called Kavka, I think. But oh my god, this is so good. It's better than Starbucks. Really good. But anyways, I'm gonna eat my pizza. And Eric got a Philly cheesesteak. And Noel wanted these loaded fries. I like it. Mmm. You like it? We are now just leaving the mall at 7.15. And as you guys can see, I went to Bath and Body Works and I got five wallflowers, pumpkin bonfire, autumn woods, sweater weather, and then I got fresh fall morning. And then the last one I got is, oh, my head is hurting. The last one I got is in the stars. So yeah, they all smell really, really good. So 
So I'm home and I'm gonna go ahead and plug in this wallflower that I got from Bath and Body a couple years ago. I just didn't have the refills, but now I do. I think I'm going to put this one, the fresh fall morning. It says fresh and relaxing. All right, I think I'm gonna remove this one from here and put this one there and I'll put this one somewhere else. I'm gonna put this one over here. There we go. Anyways, I have a headache right now, so I'm just going to put on some pajamas and lay down in my room for a little bit because I already took some Advil and it's not helping, so these headaches are no joke. Oh, that dress is so pretty. God, instead of focusing on what I need, what I think, what I want, what I don't. Give me, 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 give me. I'm changing my prayer. Show me, show mm -hmm. me, show me, show me. Oh. Show me what you're doing in the world. Show me what you want in my kids. Mm -hmm. Show me what you're calling me to be in the season that I'm in. Early the next morning. Hey guys, we're home. My boys are already fighting this morning, but you know, it's okay, mom life. So now I'm going to be making us some breakfast and I got some little pancakes right here. I'm gonna cut up some bread and make some toast. Probably add like a fried egg on it or something. And then I have these hash browns cooking. As you guys can see, it's still kind of frozen. Oh, there we go. So this is my lazy way of doing hash browns in the morning when I'm just not in the mood to cut up some papas. So um, Noel and Nico already ate some cereal, but I'm gonna have them eat a little bit of the food as well. And I'm just waiting on Eric to get here with some syrup so that we can have it with our little pancake. We actually need to go grocery shopping again because I don't have bread. I just have like this one right here. Which we'll do for this morning because I'm just going to cut it up and like I said, just make it into like toast. I decided to cook some spinach and grape tomatoes and then I'm going to fry an egg like right in the center of it. <laughs> Aww, so sweet. All right, so we've got Aiden's plate, got pancakes piece of bread with a fried egg, sunny side up, and some hash browns. And then Nico has some pancakes, so did Noel, and now he wants donuts. <laughs> I finished my food. Yeah. This is daddy's plate. And then here's my delicious breakfast. Got a lemonade instead of coffee because girl, my headaches. <sighs> They're getting annoying, so. I'm gonna take a break from coffee. Got a little lemonade, and then some syrup for my pancakes, and yeah, bon appetit. Okay, now I'm going to clean the kitchen, put the table back, put the stuff back, and wash the dishes as I watch The Vampire Diaries. So let's do a quick before. One, two, three. All right, it is all clean. Smells really good, feels nice. I love when my house is clean. Yes, okay. So it is like a few hours later, it's already 6.38 p.m. Um, I think the last clip, I was just cleaning the house and I ended up just getting a really bad headache and I took a nap. I'm still in bed, I still have a headache and it just really sucks because it really just takes over my day. So yeah but i did get on my phone and schedule an appointment and i have an appointment on friday just to get checked out and see what can be done for me um so yeah but i will see you guys tomorrow because i'm pretty sure for the rest of the night i'm just gonna be in bed so see you guys tomorrow Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. Last night was terrible, you guys. Um, I had like the worst migraine and I was taking everything. But then I remembered I had a really bad migraine like right before I had to get my wisdom teeth removed. And I remembered that Eric had bought me these pills from the Mexican store that worked for me. So last night, Eric and Aiden were looking for those pills everywhere because we could not find it. But luckily, 
Mr. Aiden found them on top of the fridge. I don't even remember putting them up there last time, but I'm just so glad that Aiden found them because that was the only thing that helped me out. So right now I kind of feel like, I don't know how to explain it. Like my head doesn't hurt right now. I just feel like numb, you know? Hey puppy. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. You're the bestest. Yeah. <laughs> I just feel like like an airhead if that makes sense like my head feels like big because it was just like pain all day yesterday but i slept really good last night and i am headache free right now migraine free so yeah so feeling way better today it's almost like really the day that i decide to do a weekend in our life saturday i got a migraine and couldn't really record anything but i'm gonna try Nico screams do not help. So, um, I do have one more of those pills, and I think I'm gonna tell Eric if we can stop by at the store again to buy more just in case because I feel like it's gonna come back soon if I don't take another one. So, anyways, we are headed out to our skillet. We're gonna have breakfast. We haven't been to our skillet in a long time, so we're gonna go there today and enjoy a nice breakfast and today feels really good it's 68 degrees it's fall vibes uh but yeah but anyways i will see you guys once we are at art skillet so this is the pill i was talking about that we found at the mexican store so i'm about to take another one after i have something to eat One hour later. So we are home now, and almost every weekend, Eric does this where he turns the sectional over and vacuums. So look at this. We do this almost every weekend, right, babe? Mm -hmm. This is mainly Nico. He always grabs like a box of cereal, and somehow, I don't know what he does, but they always end up under the sectional. So yeah, this is the reality of having a toddler. And then Eric uses this big baby here. There he is. ¿Quién hizo todo este cochinero? Nicolás. ¿Quién fue? ¿Quién hizo esto? That's Noel. Noel lo hizo. No. Noel. That was a You're in trouble. That was Nico. You in trouble. <laughs> That's sweaty. And that was sweaty? No, no, no. <laughs> you missed the spot right right there. Right there. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right. And I have my computer set up here in the dining room. This has just been like my spot to edit. I don't know why I feel like more motivated down here. Maybe because it's just like brighter. It's like a different view. The thing I love about the iMac is that it's literally just like the screen and the tiny little block, which is like the brain of the computer. And that's it. And then obviously the wireless keyboard. So I love that I can literally move this anywhere on the house. And I'm planning on buying like a little desk that I can like fold and put away so that I can open it and put it wherever I please. And the other day I put it over there in the other living room while Nico was taking a nap. So it's just like so much easier. I don't know why I didn't think about this sooner. But right now I am currently editing a video. This is actually Nico's birthday vlog that I'm editing. So I want to have this up tomorrow. Fingers crossed. It's been like this for like over a week now. Just been super cloudy. Gloomy vibes, which I don't 
mind. I actually haven't been in the pool in like over a month, I think. I just feel like these past few weeks, something has been going on with me or with my kids. First, I was like sick with like a cold for like a whole week. And then I got a migraine after that. And then I got my wisdom tooth removed. And it took me so long to recover from that. And then on top of that, there was like more things I was dealing with at home. Just like personal things. And it's just, ugh, I just feel like I've been like on a roller coaster. Yeah, life's crazy, guys. Sometimes it's great, and then sometimes just like. But at the end of the day, I'm glad that we're blessed enough to wake up and see another day, you know? So I always try to think about the positive things when things are not going well. Things are gonna happen, things are gonna pop up because it's life. Life is not perfect. So yeah, guys, it's just been <laughs> quite a few weeks. So that's why I haven't even like enjoyed our pool. I feel like I've just been like dealing with other things. So and it's crazy because August for us is supposed to be like one of the hottest months and it has not been. It's been pretty chilly, like fall vibes, which you know, like I said, I love fall. But it is like the last month before like fall, which is crazy because the first day of fall is September, I think, right? Yeah. Our Sundays are usually super chill like this. We don't really do much on sundays today eric doesn't have to play till 5 p.m so yeah so that's like the last thing we're gonna do today just go to a soccer game watch him play and then come back home and just get ready for bed because the boys have school tomorrow what are you doing he has his whole work truck back here i think he's organizing his truck later that same evening all right it is time to go to soccer it's so weird when soccer's this late. We're used to having his soccer games early in the day, so. More moments later. Well. <laughs> what? Andamos a las carreras. Llegamos. El juego era a las 5 de la tarde. Se canceló. So. No game. No soccer game, pero jugué unas carreras. Si quieren ver las carreras, ahí se las va a poner Charlene. Y pues nos fuimos a comer, nos fuimos a McAllister. And then we just here chilling. We're gonna watch Stranger Things. Yeah, so shh. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed a weekend in our life, so see you guys in the next video.